bring on the day Trusting in God's instructions Bring on the day Welcome to Bring on the Day Conversations with Willie and Tequila Adolph And we're the Adolphs Yes, and today we're going to be talking about meditation So stay tuned and we'll be back with Bring on the Day Are you looking to spend more time with your partner? Serve your community? Create a successful lifestyle doing what you do and having fun with your spouse? Reach out to us today at www.couplesinbusiness.com. Welcome back to Bring on the Day. Conversations with Willie and Tequila Adolf. And we are speaking on meditation today. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Willie, can you lead us in prayer? Yes. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the opportunity to speak the word. Thank you for allowing us to come to you and just be thankful and grateful to be alive today. Lord, give us the opportunity to sit still, to listen to your word, and to meditate and just hear your guidance. In the name of Jesus today, we pray. Amen. Amen. As Christians, we all get confused on the word meditation. And a lot of us grow weary, weary when we hear it because we think of honoring another idol or going into some kind of trance, when meditation has different meanings and different definitions. Let's go to scripture on meditating. Psalm 1, 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Psalm 49, 3. My mouth shall speak wisdom. The meditation of my heart shall be understanding. Psalm 119.15 I will meditate on your percepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Joshua 1.8 Keep this book of, of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be prosperous and successful. Isaiah 26.3 You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you. Genesis twenty four sixty three. He went out to the field one evening to meditate. And as he, Isaac, looked up, he saw camels approaching. 2 Timothy 2, 7. Think over what you say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Romans ten seventeen. So faith comes from hearing, in hearing from the word of God. And 1 Timothy 4.15, the King James Version, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that they, profiting, may appear to all. Meditation. Actually, the word meditate and meditation is in the Bible 23 times. Wow. So that means that it's something that God wants us to do and it's something that Jesus did as well. The Bible story that I wanted to speak on is about Jesus. And it's actually the Bible story kind of ties in on him going into ministry. As Christians, we're followers of Christ. So we believe that God is our Lord and Savior. He sent down his son to save us of our sins. His son was crucified, died, and rose again. Christ is alive with us, and we follow him, speaking to him, God, and the Holy Spirit. Of those things and of that mindset, we want to make sure that the things that we do represents Jesus in a good light and represents God in a good way that we honor him. Jesus meditated. Before going into ministry, Jesus spent 30 years as a regular man. 
And from what I mean by that, he was born through a Virgin Mary who was married to Joseph. Joseph and Mary's descendants are from King David. And as we go through the Bible and all of the stories, which I encourage you to pick up a Bible and read, um, if that does seem kind of scary to you, I suggest you pick up a children's Bible, learn the stories, read and look at the pictures, get excited about the Bible, and then go and find a Bible, a Bible which version that you can relate to. So along the stories of the Bible, and as Jesus was born, several instances, he wanted to meditate on the word. He wanted to get closer to God and he wanted to know the words. Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. After he was baptized, God was pleased. After that, Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. He went on a fast and basically he sacrificed his eating and um, depending on food for 40 days to cleanse himself to cleanse his body, to become closer to God. After those 40 days, or close to the end of the 40 days, I'm not sure, and of course I'm, I'm human, so I, I don't know specifically, but Satan approached Jesus. Satan gave him three tests that he wanted Jesus to, um, to subside to because he was Satan. <laughs> the evil one. One of the things that Satan came to Jesus, he said, hey, I know you're hungry. Why don't you turn that piece of stone into bread? You can do anything because I know who you are. Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live upon bread alone. And so Satan was like, all right, so you know the Bible. <laughs> Second, Satan said, hey, come here. And he put Jesus on the top of the highest mountain. And he says, I know who you are. And we know that if you jump off this mountain, you'll be saved because I read the Bible too. His angels will protect and guard over you. Jesus said, it is written, do not test God. Bottom line. <laughs> so Satan was like, okay, I got one more. Look at all of this land, all of Jerusalem, all of the cities that's all over this country. I will give that to you if you honor me and worship me, Satan. Jesus said, Satan, be gone. It is written to only worship and bow down to our God. Why am I saying all of that and how does that relate to meditation? Meditation is meditating and clearing your mind to take in God's word or something that is of importance of you. When you meditate on a certain thing, it's not that you're clearing your mind for evil to come in, it means that you're clearing your mind to be filled up with God's word, to understand. So you're prepared for when temptations and when Satan comes to you, because he will come. Oh, definitely. Temptations will be there for you. Jesus was very, very adamant on meditating, on being still, on even fasting as part of his meditation. And we want to make sure that we're not feeding into wrong things or that we're doing things incorrectly. We want to make sure that when we meditate, that there's a reason behind it. And as for Jesus, when he meditated, and he took those 40 days. And that's not only the only time he meditated. It says later on in the future, as Jesus knew that he was going to be persecuted, he went into meditation again. And this time, 
before he got arrested, he went into the highest mountain with a few of his disciples. Well, he took all of his disciples. Then he took a special few with him to the mountain. And then he went to the mountain to meditate. And at that point, he prayed and meditated so hard that he perspired blood. Hmm. But it was so important for him to meditate and be of God's word. Wow. So he got he had time to actually just sit back and and listen. So, you know, meditation does does come in handy. Yes. Yes, it does. It fills you up spiritually. Guys, we're going to go to a commercial. And when we come back, we want to give some tips on meditation and meditating. Husband and wife, partners in life, family and business. Through the ups and downs, we've overcome God as a witness. From the household of faith to real estate to what's happening now. We've got something to talk about. Welcome back to Bring on the Day, Conversations with Willie and Tequila Adolf. And on this part, we're going to give tips and suggestions on why you should meditate. Disclaimer, meditation is not praying to another God. It's not trances. It's not ohms. <laughs> There's actually two different types of meditation. In the spiritual realm, there's Eastern and Western. As followers of Christ, we are a Western civilization. So our meditation means to clear the mind, to be filled and be still on God's word, to have a closer connection to him. Hmm. So just a disclaimer. <laughs> Tips on why we need to meditate. Number one, to be closer to God. So when we meditate, like you said, it's not just, it's really just kind of clearing your day, clearing your mind, and just kind of just sitting there for the moment and, and relaxing your brain. Because your brain is steady moving and steady going mm -hmm. to where you got so much, you can't hear nothing else. That's so you right. have to sit back and just in silence sometime. Yes. Number two, meditation helps you be self-aware and discover your purpose. So in saying that, there's, you know, there's a lot of books out there on discovering your purpose and knowing your why mm -hmm. and your purpose. But sometimes when you sit back and and just, I guess, re, it'll reveal what you ask for. But you have to meditate and listen for it. It may not come right away. And, you know, you have to really drown out, in a sense, all the extra noise and chaos that's going on in your head more than what's going on outside. Exactly. Number three, to rejuvenate your body and your soul. So that's almost like sleep. Uh, <laughs> but it's not. But sleep. it's not, you know, well, in a sense, you can meditate and put your brain into that into that category because technically, even when you're asleep, your mind is being busy. That's where the dreams come from. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So when you don't have dreams, sometimes it's just you're you're kind of in a relaxation mode. And that's one of the things that you have to do. And it's not about just laying down and closing your eyes. It's actually just maybe sitting back and listening to nature. Hmm. Okay, I like that. Number four, to understand the Bible and to remember his word. Well, to understand the Bible, you have to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. So when you read the Bible, a lot of times, I know for me, myself, um, I grab a children's Bible that kind of helps me interpret a lot of the things that I don't understand. Um, it's not saying that it makes me less of a Christian, but it, it's your learning ability. For me, it's I'll read something in the Bible, go to the Bible, uh, children's Bible, because it kind of breaks it down to it's not all that thou, thee, and, and so over here it's like pictures. And, and it's not even about the pictures. It's about just really breaking it down to a different way of understanding because we all learn differently. Exactly, exactly. Number five, to calm your anxieties. Oh, that's, that's a big one because sometimes we get anxiety. We have, we'll be anxious. We be, you know, always on the go. We got to have this. this. How they got that. Got, 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 got. Because we live in a microwave society. So sometimes everything is so fast and fast paced. You need to sit down, sit back um, and just slow your brain down and just kind of just understand what's really going on around you. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Number six. Why we need to meditate because it improve, improves your immune system. Hmm. So, I've heard of that. so when you're always on the go and you're always having things on your mind, now you're going into a different anxiety and it can cause stress. Mm -hmm. When you relax and meditate, it's not going to make the stress go away, but it helps relieve some of the stress, which actually helps your immune system because when you're stressing, that caused so many different health problems um, to where your body can't fight off certain things. But sometimes if you relax, let things go and, and leave it to God, you know, it may help. Yeah. I realized that when I was sick for a while. Mm -hmm. Number seven, meditation improves your sleep. Once again. <laughs> Your brain is always going. So, you know, um, recently, you know, I heard that to get a good night of sleep, you need to start watching stuff that's funny or stuff that's not, that really makes you think. You know, a lot of people, they'll scroll on their phone, they'll be on games, and people don't realize games make you think hmm. because you're trying to figure out this puzzle, that puzzle, this word, that word, this move, that move. So your mind, before you go to sleep, is still going. You never let your mind come to a shutdown moment. Mm, so is it easier to listen to those um, kind of like sleep meditation yes, music? the calming music, the ocean, the wind, the rain, all that kind of stuff is actually, it, it's good. Um, for some, you know, they can't sleep with noise. Mm -hmm. They have to have peace and quiet, you know, mm -hmm. no noise. But in a lot of cases, when you go through the the calming music, the calming rain, I call it calming rain because I hear rain, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, it increases your attention span. So in saying that, when you're meditating, what are you doing? You're focusing on shutting everything off. So now you're focusing on shutting things off. So as you start gearing back up, your focus has expanded because you're training your mind to focus on certain things. Instead of trying to focus on everything, you're focusing on one thing at a time. Hmm. I like that. It lowers your blood pressure. Wow, yes. <laughs> you had to learn that. Well, that's the same as um, like for stress because your mind is going and you're, and you're, you're doing things and your body doesn't get enough oxygen. You have to learn, you know, because that's part of meditation too, is, is breathing properly. And when you breathe properly, you get 
enough oxygen to your brain. It gets the blood flowing. And we're not doctors, so we're going to make that out there. We're not doctors. We're not doctors. But that's what the doctor told me. (laughs) (laughs) And it creates happy feelings. It gives you peace. Well, it does give you peace, so that leaves openness. And that's why, especially, you know, I say if you're going to sleep, or do something, watch stuff that's funny because it kind of re, it, it kind of relaxes you when you're doing that. When you laugh, it actually relieves some of the tension, some of the anxiety. And, you know, it's, it's very peaceful when you can laugh and you sit back and you're not really thinking about the everyday life of what's this, who's that, what's not getting paid, what's getting paid, where I need to go, who I need to pick up, you know, and certain things like that. So you definitely want to uh, stay happy, but put yourself in a happy place as, as well. Read something that makes you smile. You know, if you're into flowers or if you're into oceans and stuff like that. And speaking on that, the next tip is to get back to nature. Go outside. Oh, that is, you know, that is one of the key things as growing up. You couldn't keep us from outside. We always wanted to go. I know uh, when I was younger here in Texas, I always wanted to go to the beach, you know, mm-hmm. so it was always the beach. It, you know, and at that particular time, it wasn't for you know, the right reasons, but it was, you know, it was more of, and it's funny why everybody goes to the beach to get that calmness and happiness. Mm -hmm. Meditating outside with nature. Mm -hmm. In fact, guys, we have some suggestions on how you can meditate. Number one, find a quiet place and set a time. You want to make sure that you have an allotted time just for that. Um, I usually don't suggest the phone or put it, maybe put it on our airplane mode. Mm-hmm. Number two, sit comfortably and don't lie down. Sit up in a nice chair that has a back or um, something where you're, you know, you're not leaning or slouching or fall asleep. <laughs> Number three, concentrate on your controlled breathing. You want to make sure that you deeply breathe in through your nose and control, slowly breathe out through your mouth. Some people are so advanced that they breathe in through their nose and then they breathe out through their nose. We're still on the learning level, so we still have to breathe in (laughs) and get that control, get our breathing under control. Right. (laughs) Focus on that one thing and do not let your mind wander. Sometimes it might be easier to have a blindfold so that everything is blocked out and you're concentrating and focusing on that one thing. And last, visualize stillness. Visualize the calmness, the quietness. Meditate on that one thing that you want to focus on, whether it's God's word or preparing for something. You want to just have that visualization of stillness. Guys, we're going to go back and go into a commercial. And when we come back, we will have some questions to consider. The Adolf Group at Equity House Properties. We provide residential, commercial, leasing apartment locating. We provide consulting on home buying, home selling, and credit restoration. We help with private investments to All Faith Investment Corporation. Contact us now the Adolf Group at Equity House Properties. We make real estate your reality. Welcome back to Bring on the Day. 
Conversations with Willie and Tequila Adolf. And on this, ep this section, we want to have some questions to consider on the topic of meditation. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, you know, meditation is something that we all need. Um, now, do we all do it? Different story. But we do need it. So here's some questions to consider. Do I understand that prayer strengthens relationship with God? So when we're meditating, it's also a time for prayer. And, you know, when we when we pray, do you really believe that, you know, your relationship with God is getting closer or do you feel it's getting further? Um, another question. Do I trust that God will care for me even when it seems that my prayers have gone unanswered? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you know, we meditate, we pray, we fast. And sometimes God just says no. He, he just says no. He keeps that door shut. And, and here's another reason is you may not be ready for that yet. You may say, God, if I hit this lottery, I will do this. No, you won't. No, you won't. Because you don't do it with the little bit that you have. So sometimes it's, it can just be that simple. Do I believe that my prayers have the power to change my circumstances, my perspective, and my future? That is something for each one of you to really consider for yourself. Me personally, it does. It has. So you really got to take these questions, ask yourself these questions, and be truthful with yourself because you have no wrong answer because they're your answers. Yeah. And meditation is what you make of it. Um, does it help? Yes. Uh, should you do it every day? once a day, once a month, whatever is good for you, but it's really good to be on a consistent basis, 